What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Spirit Tomb Trick Room team to feature in Series 2. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to click that big red subscribe button. We're closing in on 20,000 subscribers. And it blows my mind. Seriously, if you're not subscribed yet, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. But like I said, we got Spirit Tomb today. And this is a Pokemon that I have never seen on the rank ladder or I have never used on the rank ladder. So this one's going to be fun trying them out and trying to grab some wins with it. But we have him in the top left-hand corner to get us started here with today's team preview. It's got Infiltrator as its ability and the Roselli Berry as its item. It's got will o -Wisp to burn physical attackers, Snarl to drop special attack, Trick Room to set up that Trick Room, and then it's got Pain Split for its final move. Iron Hands is going to be our second Pokemon in Iron Hands. Just a phenomenal Paradox Pokemon. Really good in most situations, and it can outbulk a lot of special attackers. This one has Quirk Drive, the Assault Vest as its item, and it's Rock and Fake Out, Ice Punch, Drain Punch, and Thunder Punch for an amazing move set. Third Pokemon is going to be everyone's favorite Pokemon. We got Scissor on our team. I love Scissor. I think everyone loves Scissor, and it's solid with this moveset. It's got Choice Band and Technician as its ability, Thief, Close Combat, Bullet Punch, and U-Turn. Pelper is going to be our fourth Pokemon, and Pelper is solid for a bunch of different reasons. One, because you can gain weather control with it, and two, it's a solid special attacker with wide guard, so it can protect you from double-hitting moves such as Eruption or like Rock Slide, EQ, all that good stuff. It has Drizzle, the Focus Sash as item, Hurricane, Hydro Pump, Wide Guard like we already mentioned, and then it is also rocking U-Turn just like Scizor. Vrigoreth is going to be our fifth Pokemon, probably the best Trick Room setter in this game with Armor Tail and the Mental Herb as an item. It's got Protect, it has Trick Room, Psychic, and Dazzling Gleam for its four moves. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Pinchurchin over here. Pinchurchin's really good in the Trick Room considering it is super slow, but it's also good at setting that electric terrain and pop a Quirk Drive on all the Paradox Pokemon, but we only have one, so it's going to be Iron Hands. He has Electric Surge, Eject Button as an item, Thunder, Protect, Hydro Pump, and Thunderbolt for its move set. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Series 2 Spirit Tomb team. Something that I totally forgot to mention in the team preview was if you guys have Walking Wake or Iron Leaf teams, rental teams, send them to me either in the comment section down below or in my Twitter DMs. I'm looking to make a video on them as soon as possible. So if you guys have a solid meta team with both those Pokemon, or actually one and one, so one team with uh, Walking Wake and one team with Iron Leaves. Get it over to me. I would love to use them for a YouTube video. Been looking for some teams to showcase, so hopefully you guys can come and clutch for me. But we're hopping into match number one, going up against an Ndidi and Armor Rouge team, alongside Dragonite, Great Tusk, Gargonackle, and Amoongus. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I definitely going to need Penchurchin. I'll probably bring him more so in as like a back-end Pokemon, so we can swap terrains, all that good stuff, and get after the match that way. So I might lead Iron Hands here, or I might just lead Frigograph. Frigograph, Iron Hands, really not a bad combo here. If he goes into, say, like a Trick Room-ish thing, I mean, actually, I could lead like a Pokemon like Scizor or even Pelipper here. Who's faster? Who's faster here? And Scizor, you're not too bad, but you're kind of slower. That's the problem. Because I would love to just U-turn out into Pinchurchin. And I think that's going to be our play. We're going to go Vrigoraph. We are going to go uh, Scizor, U-turn out, pop the Trick Room, and then get Pinchurchin in there to take out the terrain. I think that can work pretty well for us, right? I feel like we should be fine with that. Even if they do pop an expanded force, I do feel like we're going to be fine with that. And the last Pokemon I want to bring is definitely going to be Iron Hands. Our heavy hitter, he's going to be able to do some work up against a lot of these Pokemon. It's just like we have Ice Punch, super effective onto a few of them. And we also have uh, our Drain Punch and Fake Out for flinches as well. As well. So we'll see how this one plays out here. But yo, I'm super hyped for Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. They both look amazing. Walking Wake obviously looks cooler in my opinion. Iron Leaves just looks like that normal Futuristic Paradox Pokemon. Just steely looking like Futuristic Robot. You guys know how it be. But he's going to end up leading these two. Which, uh, I don't really mind. I mean, he might just start salt carrying me. It could be a problem, but I feel like we can deal with this. I definitely feel like we can deal with this. But I definitely want to pop the Trick Room. I definitely want to pop Trick Room. I definitely want to U-turn out of here. Try to just rip into this Indeedee slot. And then we can go from there. So I'm going to Trick Room. I am going to also go into a straight U-turn. And I'm going to try to pivot into maybe Pin Church in here, right? Or I could just go straight Iron Hands. I don't really know which one I'm going to do here. I'm not too sure. I'm thinking we just go straight into Pin Church in here. Because I do have Hydro Pump to kind of rip into, uh... Ripping the Gargoyle Knuckle too, but yeah, we just get rid of Indeedee, no problem. Choice Band, you turn it's stab, it's super effective. It's, it's it's game over for that Indeedee. So we get rid of Indeedee and we swap at the same time. Big time plays from us, and then from here, 
Mm. We're going to go into Pinch Arch here. Because I do think that he might Salt Cure. And then at that point, we have the Jack button. So we can take off Terrain. And we can swap back out and kind of dodge that Salt Cure all in one turn. So let's see. Are you Salt Cure in my Scissor Slot? I do think that's happening. So I would love the Jack button out here if you do do that. Yeah, exactly. So he's going to Salt Cure me. That's fine. We're swapping back out. And now you have no Salt Cure. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I'm really cool with that. Now I can go back into Scissor if I want to. Could go back into Scissor, but I'm thinking just going straight into Iron Hands here. I think it's an Iron Hands play. I do think it's an Iron Hands play. So we're going to go into Iron Hands here. Gargo Knackle is going to be a little bit of an issue. I mean, I guess. I mean, we can get some work done onto him. Right now, I think I'm just going to fake it out. It might even Thrasize into Ghost. That could be a problem, but we end up getting off a Tricker. That was a crazy first turn, to be honest with you guys. KO swaps, terrain swaps, and then we U-turn swap, we eject button swap, we swap terrain, and we picked up KO and set Trick Room all in the same turn. That's wild. That is that's honestly wild. So he's gonna bring out the one and only Tusk here. And I feel like we do we gleam? I feel like we just psychic down this thing. So I'm gonna psychic and I'm just gonna fake out the tusk. And the reason being actually I could just punch it with a nice punch. So I'm thinking of doing. If it wants to swap in the ground typing, I think we should be fine here. I feel like Gargonach is going to Terrasilize, correct? Makes the most sense. Hey, I could Terrasilize here too. The straight fighting. I mean, that's not bad. I can get some work done. We'll get some HP back too. But I think if we Terrasilize, I think we just Ice Punch. I think Ice Punch does a bit more damage here. I think they do both the, the same amount of damage, actually. I think they do, right? Because stab times two, and this one's not stab. And the reason we're terrasized is just to get rid of Electric type. I don't want to get hit by an EQ or headlong rush and take a crazy amount of damage and just lose my iron hands like that. So Gargonacle ends up protecting. That's totally fine. We're not even going after it. We're taking on this thing. So Ice Punch is going to fly out here. Chip up some nice lovely damage. And this Psychic might be able to KO here. This might be able to KO. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. It's too easy. It's too easy. Let's go. Wasting a turn on that Gargonacle. We didn't even use our fake out. And sometimes I like to do that. I think it works really, really well. It's just not even use our fake out and just predict maybe like a protect or something because that's what happens on the opponent's side. When a fake out user comes out, you're like, okay, who's he going to fake out? That's your first thought. That is your first thought. And so with, not go, with opting to not go for the fake out, it allows you to just basically get a free turn sometimes. He's going to throw out Arm Rouge. I feel like from here, we could just pop a nice, lovely Psychic. Yeah, we're just going to Psychic. Start chipping down some damage on you. And I could double down on this Pokemon. I'm just going to go straight for a Thunder Punch into this thing. Yeah, Gargonacle, I'm not too worried about. I mean, if it goes to a 1v1, it's fine. But battle was canceled, and we just take that one. No problem. Second match coming at you guys, and we're running into a problem here. Don Dozo and Tatsuki. Seems like a problem for us, right? I don't really know how I'm going to counter it. I mean, we have few Pokemon that are going to be super effective up against it, but still, going to be your problem hands down. They also have King Gambit, Fluttermane, uh, what is that Pokemon called? Glamora, and then Iron Ball. Okay, so Trick Room, 1,000% we got to get out. So I'm going to go into, I'm thinking I'm going to go into Spirit Tomb here. I think I got the Spirit Tomb. I'm ready to rock out with him. I'm ready to rock out with the Spirit Tomb. He might also end up leading... Gambit, and I got to fake out. I got to fake out just to get off this trick. So I'm going to go Spirit Tomb. We're going to get him hit him out here for the first time and we're gonna also lead the fake out user so i'm digging that i do like that so i'm gonna go in with both of them i am going to also bring in i think pin churchin could be pretty solid here so i am gonna bring pin churchin and do i get the rain going here or do i just bring a pokemon like scissor i feel like scissor gets a lot of work done so i'm gonna go scissor here bring my lovely little choice band scissor we're locking it in we're locking it down let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two because that first match was clean it was clean you turn pivot out. It was beautiful first turn. Take out the Indeedee, and then we just start slapping up. Our opponent cancel. New is over, and we take that dub. We take that dub all day. Let's see your opponent's going to lead here. It is going to be maybe King Gambit. No King Gambit. I'm, I can deal with this. So I can obviously go into the fake out onto the Iron Moth. We have the Roselli Berry to help us soak up this fairy move. I feel as we can set up Trick Room pretty easily, right? Cork Drive's going to come out here. Boost that thing's speed. Good thing we're getting Trick Room off. So, Roselli Berry coming in clutch here for these fairy moves. And then we just Trick Room. Fake out onto the Mothy Moth. And we should have Trick Room set up no problem. No problem. I mean, he's probably going for Gleam here. He's going to Thrasilize. I maybe should Thrasilize, but 
Actually, no, I have fighting Terra. He's gonna Terrasize straight in the fair. We already know. This. We already know this is coming. So this is happening. Don't really like it, but I'm gonna have to deal with it. And Fake Out's gonna pop here. I should have Fake Out you. you. Make it flinch. Fluttermane's gonna go next with a Moon Blast. He going into here is the real question. He going into You're going into my Iron Hands. Iron Hands with that Soul Vest soaks rather well. Gets a special attack drop, but luckily we're physical attacking. I think does show its orb. We get off the truck. Spirit Tomb came to play. So from here, I just feel like it's free snarls, right? Snarl, snarl, snarl. There's special attacking. Snarl up. And from here, we'll Thunder Punch one of them. I think we just Thunder Punch the Iron Moth, correct? I can bring out Scissor right after this and just get rid of Flutter Me whenever I want. <laughs> right? I just bull punch it, take it out, no problem. I like it. I dig this. So we still have Pin Church in the back end. I do like Pin Church in there. It's gonna end up protecting you. That's totally fine. He's gonna look to just get rid of my Iron Wall. Snarl's gonna come out here. Or not my Iron Wall, my Iron Hands. But Snarl's gonna come out here, only hit the Iron Wall. And it's gonna drop the thing special attack, which is pretty good. And we might. I don't think we're gonna KO it, but we're gonna do some nice damage to it. We do KO it. That's even better. Even better. So Spirit Team's thriving here. I'm gonna be able to get off another Snarl. Everything's working perfectly. I'm not worried about the Flutter Man because I can take it out whenever my Scissor comes out here. Now that Iron Moth is gone too. It's even bigger. So Don Dozo's going to come back out here. And this is where we throw a little will o -Wisp burn onto this thing. And we Thunder Punch. Did we Thunder Punch it? I think I'm just going to Thunder Punch the Flutter Man. He might not swap here. Exactly. Cool. Dope. Awesome. So he ends up not swapping. I was going to say, there's a chance he might protect you. And we're going to need to burn this thing and maybe start... Pain Split could come in clutch. Thunder Punch going to fly over on this slot and almost KO. That could have been big time KO. That could have been big time KO. So Dazzling Gleam does fly out here. We eat up our Roselli Berry and Spirit Team will get another turn, which is big time for us. Big time for us. Okay, so... Hmm. What's the play here? Got to bring out Pin Churchin, right? Got to bring out Pin Churchin. Gotta bring out Pinchurch because we already know what his play is gonna be. We already know his final Pokemon's gotta be Tatsu Gear. We bring out Pinchurch here, we throw burns onto that, and we just start hitting this thing as hard as we can. I could Terrasize into uh, Electric as well, which is probably the play, right? It's gotta be the play. They do not have Terrasalization. We start ripping in that thing with Thunderbolts. I like it. So this has gotta be Tatsu Gear, right? Is it the Gummy? It is the Gummy. So Commander's coming out here. We're gonna throw a burn on this thing. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Oh, wait. Electric Terrain. That's no status conditions, right? Oh, that kind of does it dirty. No status conditions. No stat. I don't like that one bit. We do have a jack button on this thing. Hmm. What do I do with this thing? Then? What do I do with Spirit Tomb? I can't Willow Wisp you. I'm almost positive. Let me check. Let me check out the train because I believe it says that. Five turns Pokemon on the... Okay, so it's just falling asleep. Okay, that's beautiful. So I think it's a uh, Missy Terrain. Will not allow that to happen. I'm going to Terrasize in a straight Thunder. And we're going to throw some Burns on him. Yeah, I believe it's Missy Terrain. Missy Terrain stops, like, Burns and all that. I think it may be all status conditions. And Electric Terrain is just big time for us sleeps. So I'll take that all day. We're going to Terrasize or Pinchurch and Wild Trick Room still here. Double board damage with Thunderbolt. And like I said in the beginning of the video... Pinchurch is one of those Pokemon that it has great special attack and stat. So even with special defense boost, I still see we do a nice chunk of damage to this thing. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, sir. And with a whistle, it's beautiful. We're going to half its attack uh, damage now. The big time plays from a Spear Tomb? Coming in hot here. Coming in hot. I'm actually playing really well with this team. I did not think we'd play this well with it. So he's going to end up going for EQ. I think I should be able to lead up. I do. Again, burn coming in clutch. And that's pretty much almost game. Oh no, my jack button do me. My jack button just did me dirty there. My jack button just did me so dirty there. I don't like that. My jack button just did me so dirty. My jack button just did me so bad there. Really bad there. Really bad. Because how many turns were left in Trick Room? One. That hurts. That really does hurt. Um, Gotta get off as much damage as I can. I could U-turn out again. We're Choice Bandit. 
Uh, you turn will probably do the most damage, right? Yeah, you turn will do the most damage. So we're gonna go for it. He might even protect this turn. Yeah, he does. He ends up protecting. The EQs are gonna be flying. I mean, I'll try to pop off another trick room. This match is low key gonna be really close. It's gonna be really close. He's gonna take some burn damage. I believe leftovers and burns just cancel each other out pretty much, right? I think it's like the exact same health. Maybe burn might do a little bit more damage. But I, I do believe it's the exact same health. So he's gonna be able to take out my spirit team. I believe he's going for an EQ here. Now I'm just gonna go for the U-turn. I don't know if U-turn can KO. That eject button might have did me dirty. Ray Crash coming in hot here. Just take out my spirit team. That's actually really fine. Cause he's gonna take recoil damage from that. I believe U-turn could come out here, finish this Pokemon off, and then swap and reset our choice ban. Oh no! We do swap. Okay, that's actually fine because we swap. We, we reset our choice ban. We have you out here. That hurts. Because now I got a bull punch. And I think bull punch can pick up the KO, right? <laughs> that really didn't pick up the KO. That's fine. That's fine. Good thing we just reset the choice ban. Good thing we reset the choice ban. Big time. That's big time. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, we should have this match. We should have this match pretty much locked down. Because now I have my, my band reset. I can bullet punch now, have first turn priority. Bullet punch should be able to do one HP there. And then we just Thunderbolt, which is going to slide over into you. And it's going to be pretty much game set match. Right? Awesome. Bull punch comes in here. See you later, Don Dozo. Finally, get rid of that. I thought this Pokemon was going to be a problem. And it was a problem. Definitely was a problem. But we played really well. Played really well. Thunderbolt slides to the Tatsugiri, who is now open. Chipping up some damage. And then Bull Punch should be able to finish it. Yeah. It's in that range. It is in that range. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy playing out of his mind right now. 2 and 0. 2 and 0. 2 and 0. Battle was canceled. Let's get it. Let's hop to a third. Look for another perfect record for you guys. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record for today's video. Going up against a Roaring Moon team. Haven't really been seeing Roaring Moon over the uh, Series 2 rank ladder as of recently. He'll been opting to use other Pokemon. But Roaring Moon is still a problem. Still can hit very, very hard. So I gotta watch out for that Pokemon. They also have Iron Hands, Iron Maw, Arcanine, and then Gargonackle. And just like us, the lovely little Giraffe for a graph. So how should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like Trick Room is an absolute must for us, right? I mean, they have a few Pokemon that can thrive in Trick Room, but Intimidate seems like it's a problem. I mean, Frigraph, probably going to be your lead. I could also go in with Scizor. I don't mind Scizor here because I can always U-turn out. Or I can go into a Pokemon more so like Pelipper here. Pelipper seems to, seems to be super effective onto a lot, and plus Rain could really help us out here. So I'm going to go Pelipper. I'm going to go Pelipper. I am going to bring Pinchurchin. And then last but not least, got to go in with my boy Iron Hands. We got to go in with my boy Iron Hands. So that's exactly what we're going to be rolling out with. Looking to grab ourselves a win here in match number three. But hey, already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. We played so strong as of recently. These past two games, whoo, just been making the right calls. Just been making the right calls. But we'll see who they want to end up leading here. It is going to be Farigaraf and Arcanine. That's totally fine. I can see Arcanine maybe Terrasalizing here. Um, Frigraph's just chilling here. Frigraph might even counter our trick room. Possibilities. There's possibilities. But we do set the rain. Lovely little rain. Lovely little rain. But I'm just going to go straight for it. I'm just going to go straight for the trick room. And... There's no way Arcanine stays in here, right? I really want to U-turn, but you know what? I'm going to just play it safe. I think we rip into this Arcanine with Hydro Pump. Yep, there it is. Should have U-turned out, but still. It's fine. Let's see what Fergraf ends up doing. I mean, that's fine. I don't, I don't really mind the block. It doesn't really, like, give him any crazy advantage. But he's going to end up tricking me. That's fine. Who are you tricking on? My Paloops? Please don't be my Paloops. Helper's going to obtain the Choice Scarf. Okay. Not choice scarf, and actually Pelper might be good for later usage. We pop out the trick room. I'm cool with that. We pop out the trick room. And now I'm just gonna do this, and I'm just gonna U-turn out because I can. I can. I have choice scarf, and I can save Pelper for later. That can really clutch up, right? That can really clutch up. He's gonna end up terrestrializing his Arcanine, right? Arcanine gets Terra, and he's gonna go into what type of water? Lovely little water Terra. Actually, a really good Terra type for now. <laughs> 
The Water Terra Arcanine here. What's he gonna do? I'm gonna Psychic here. I'm gonna get a little bit of damage off on this thing. Actually, nice chunk of damage. And Hyper Force is gonna fly here. So, wow, that actually did too much damage. A little bit too much damage to my boy. A little bit too much damage to my Pelipper. But, okay. I can deal with that. So, from here, I could bring out Iron Hands, but obviously, Pinch Urchin would be a little bit better. Thunderbolt can just rip into uh, whatever Pokemon I want to. You kind of go from there. Plus, Pinch Urchin has Thunder. And honestly, I think Arcanine might just protect. I might just double down for a graph. I might just double down for a graph because he knows. He knows I can just rip into that thing. Let me see what other Pokemon they have in the back end. Let's see. But I mean, no one you can really swap into. Maybe Gargonackle. But I feel like I feel like he's either swapping or I feel like he's either swapping or uh, attacking. And no, he doesn't. He does not do any of those. Wow, that sucks. Kind of sucks for us, right? So we kind of just predicted him protecting. And that kind of hurts his soul. Because now Hyper Voice comes in here. And for Rigoran probably dies here. I do have a Jackpot, which is uh, pretty nice for us. So Jackpot comes out here. We're going to be able to dodge this Snarl. And I'm going to be able to bring out you. Iron Hands comes out here. And I kind of like where we're sitting with these guys. Hmm. Because Frigoran, we know, is going to die here. And Quirk Drive's here. Ooh. We like a good old quirk drive. We like a good old quirk drive. So Snarl comes out here. Doesn't do anything to my iron hands. And I have maybe two, one or two turns left. I think we have two. I think we have two, and I think we can really thrive, thrive up against these Pokemon. So from here, Pinchurchin, gotta come out here. And we're just gonna straight up thunder you. Actually, who do we thunder? For Regraph, right? And we Thunder Punch the other, the Arcanine. But let me see how many turns left in Trick Room. Two. We have two turns left in Trick Room. That's pretty solid. We have Quirk Drive boosted. We're going to Thunder Punch this slot. And yeah, this is easy double KO. Unless they protect. So my play would be to protect. Kind of like get rid of the uh, Wasted Trick Room turn. So I can see probably Arcanine protecting, right? No, none of them protect. I'm cool with that. So cool. We drop Farigaraf. We drop Arcanine. Turns into a 2v2. And if they don't really have Protect these next turns, we could really be sitting in a good spot. We could really be sitting in a good spot because I still have Terra, don't I? I believe I do. I believe I do. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Okay, I like where we're sitting. We still have Terrestrialization. Right? I can't even remember if we used it or not. Cannot even remember. I don't believe we did. I don't believe we did. But War Moon's going to come out here. War Moon's definitely protecting, right? And Iron Moth's here as well. Iron Moth might even... Uh... Might even protect. Hmm, I feel like they double protect here. But I feel like from here we go uh, into you. And then we just thunder punch this slot. Or I can drain punch it. Or I can ice punch it. I feel like ice punch is probably the play. Is there anyone's good trash on It's probably Roar Moon into, uh, into flying. So I'm just going to send an ice punch that way. And it double protects and come out here. The so Dublé protect. We do have rain to protect us from... Uh, from this water or if not from the water from the fire damage coming in here and this is tough this is tough so i really want to terrestrialize iron hands but straight enough fighting wouldn't really do much for us i don't think terror even helps us here right i'm still gonna go for a hydro pump here Oh, they don't have Terrasalize. Oh, they don't have Terrasalization. So, yeah, Drain Punch is going to be a play. I just remember, they don't have Terrasalization. I always forget. I always forget. But, yo, uh, Fighting Terra going to be a little off for us. I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, Drain Punch, if we could just soak up shots, Drain Punch can take out this War Moon and get us back a good amount of HP. But thank God I just remember, they don't have Terrasalization. Fiery Dance coming in here. What are you going after? My Pinchurchin. Who survives? Who survives? Roar Moon's gonna acrobatic. We eat. Oh, yes. I like this. I like this. Strain Punch coming out here. KO in the Roar Moon unless it's Sash. It's Sash. Of course this thing's Sash. But we get back a ton of HP, which I really, really like. So we get back a ton of HP, and we gotta hope that this Hydro Pump lands. We need this Hydro Pump to land, because we're back at full HP. 
How much pump does land? How much damage are we doing this thing? KOin? No, but we get off a nice chunk. Okay, so pin churching on a field here. Um We have to get rid of one of them, right? We have to get rid of one of them. Thunderbolt will KO you. Um One of them's gonna protect here. I feel like we have to do uh, no, you know we're just gonna we're gonna play it safe. We're just gonna go after War Moon. I knew it. I knew it, dude. I knew it. <laughs> He's going for Heat Wave, aren't you? Now Fiery Dance coming out here. Who are you going after? Who's after Pinchurchin? This is scary. This is scary. And I knew I should have went after the Iron Moth. I knew I should have went after the Moth, but that was a great protect. But like I was sitting there, I was just like, dude, I don't want to overthink this. Do not want to overthink this. My cork drive's gone. That's fine. I don't really need it anymore. And this thing is cork drive booster energy. So this thing's special attack is still heightened. This thing can do a weird amount of damage. But the thing is, we have assault vest. I think we can be fine here. Wait, you plus one on special attack. I'm gonna send a drain punch here. We're gonna finish off the war moon. So I'd rather go up against a special attacker with no super effective moves. Wow, that's a good battle. That's a good battle. I was gonna double down to Iron Moth too, but I was just, I was just like, yo, let's not overthink it, because most, for the most part, when you make the simple play, it usually wins you the game. Because could you imagine if I went to Iron Moth and War Moon didn't protect and we ended up losing this match? Would have been, I would have felt awful. But we still have a shot here. Fire Dance can come in here, doing actually a lot of damage, a bit too much damage, and I think we just lost. We did just lose. Yeah. Ouch. My soul. Hurt. Should have doubled down to Iron Moth. Should have went with my gut. But hey, still a solid third and final battle. Came down to the wire. We go 2 1 for today's video. And more importantly, grab ourselves a winning record overall. Great set of matches for today's video. Got to showcase this team really well with the Spirit Tomb and the Iron Hands. We also had Scissor, Pelper, Ferrigraph, and Pinch Urchin. We all got to use it today's video and showcase it to their fullest potential. But 2 and 1, grab yourselves a nice winning record. Cannot go wrong with that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend the past day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.